Hi, I'm Claire Tompkins, The Clutter Coach. I am making a series of videos based on my guide called The 52 Simple Ways to Get Organized. This guide that I wrote is really short. It's 52 pages long, which means there's just one tip per page. And I wrote it that way because I wanted it to be a really fast, easy way for people to get into their organizing projects as fast as possible without having to read through a 200-page book before they do it. So if you want to cut to the chase, you can buy my guide here at this link, or just stay put, and you're going to be getting a tip coming up right now. So now we are up to simple way number seven, which is called unwanted gifts. We all have those, don't we? So my advice is don't hang on to gifts that you got just because they were gifts. Anything that does not please you or is important to you in your life in some way, it's just not worth keeping in your life. Uh, it's important, of course, to be tactful and not hurt the giver's feelings, but there's no point in feeling guilty about not wanting to gift. Either you like it or you don't. That's fine. So what is a gift? Ideally, it's an expression of gratitude or friendship or both. And that is the most important part. That's the part to focus on. That's the part that doesn't go away even if you don't have the gift anymore. So when a giver and receiver participate in this exchange, they both win. The giver has this feeling of love and generosity and giving something, and the receiver, well, they get a gift. What's wrong with that? So once you accept a gift and give thanks, you're free to do whatever you want with that gift. Now, the same goes with the gifts that you give. You have to remember that there's a quid pro quo there. So try to get stuck in, in try not to get stuck in feeling guilty about not wanting these gifts and in feeling responsible for finding a good home for them. This is the reason why we have thrift stores and donation centers, because there's going to be somebody else who is going to cherish that gift that's now sitting in the back of your closet where you are not cherishing it. So your job is to get out of the house as soon as possible. So here's what you can do right now. Find a gift that's in your closet you've been saving because you feel guilty getting rid of it. Put it in your donation bag. We talked about that a few chapters ago. And pass it on to somebody that you know will appreciate it. So that's your simple tip for today. I'm Claire Tompkins, The Clutter Coach. Thanks for watching. If you want to just buy the guide right away, it's available on my website at this link right here. And I hope to see you next time.